Well, what's up gear lovers and outdoor adventurers. Thanks so much for coming back to another video here at Gideon's Tactical. I'm Aaron and I had an amazing opportunity recently to do a multi-day backpacking trip in Wyoming through the Wind River Range. And it was beautiful. It was like walking through a fairy tale, some of the terrain that we were able to go through. Just amazing. But it was also rough and rugged and I had a lot of gear and equipment I needed to haul with me as a videographer. Uh, I had about a 45 pound pack. And so as I was trying to determine what type of backpack I should take and use, I decided to go with this Osprey Rook 65 liter backpack. And now having used it a bunch and taken it on this multi-day backpacking trip, I feel like I can give you a really good breakdown of three reasons why you would fall in love and why this is an amazing pack to go with if you're doing multi-day backpacking, but also one reason why you might want to steer away from it throughout this video. And so before we go any further, though, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Health Code Complete Meal Shakes. Now, guys, I've been telling you about Health Code here for months now. And when I was picking out my food for this backpacking trip, I really wanted to take a few of these with me because I've seen the results week after week, month after month now in my own life and with my family, with my wife, using these complete meal shakes is an awesome option and they're going to be a lot healthier and give you a lot more nutrients and things that your body needs, particularly when you're exerting yourself like you do on a backpacking trip. And what's awesome about these is that you're not only going to be getting non-GMO, uh, gluten-free, no soy, no added sugars, no added sweeteners, no artificial ingredients, it's keto-friendly, uh, it's compact, it's light, and with the 27 grams of protein and the 27 grams of healthy fats and 400 calories, it's gonna give you a lot more than just trying to survive and sustain yourself on a bunch of energy bars on the trail. So regardless if you're just going from point A to point B in this life day to day, or you're hitting a trailhead for a backpacking adventure or a day hike, I believe Health Code Complete Meal Replacement Shakes, man, are they gonna give you a lot. Now we do have a promo code for you guys, Eat with GT. that's gonna give you 15% off your purchase. So check out that hyperlink below, hop on over, see what they got going on and throw that in your rotation. I know you won't be sorry and your tongue will be nice and full. And so with that, let me give you those three reasons why this pack rocks. Number one is the suspension system. With a 45 pound loadout, and a lot of up and down elevation through that rugged terrain. I needed something that was gonna be able to support that weight well and carry it and disperse it throughout my hips and onto my shoulders properly. And this airspeed system that they have really works well. It fit my torso, I'm 6'2", so I'm a pretty big guy, but it fit me really well, uh, as well as being able to carry that load. The hip belt was very well built and very dense, as well as the shoulder straps. I actually was testing a few other packs prior to this and the shoulder straps just weren't quite as dense and built uh, to strength like this yoke system is and as an added little bonus it did have the ladder system for sternum strap which I tend to uh, gravitate more to because then I can dial it in exactly where I want to and it's not going to shift and slide up and down on the tracks that often come in a lot of multi-day backpacks. The adjustability on the yoke is amazing as well and one of the fastest I've ever seen. You just pull these two little tabs right here on either side and then you're able to adjust the yoke up or down where you need it to go I actually adjusted it um, as we started out the hike once I realized that I needed to actually drop one it was the fastest smoothest easiest way to adjust a pack I've seen in a long time so that all together really carried the load well was able to disperse it well and was comfortable for the weight and the distance that i was having to go second is durability they really went all out with the durability on this pack uh, they use ykk zippers ykk polymers and clips and plastics as well as a 600 denier uh, polyester body as well as a thousand denier pack cloth in certain uh, high wear points on the pack so that means that you're getting something that's very tough very durable and particularly for a lot of people that might just be starting out and backpacking um, you know you might be putting it down kind of rough you may be a little rougher with it maybe you're not quite familiar with the trail you're going on and there's a higher probability of ripping it or tearing it in the foliage that you may be going through so this has a level of durability that some of those ultralights that are out there that are not only lighter but also more expensive 
um, often can't give you. So this is gonna last you for years and years, whereas some of the other brands and models that are out there on the market are gonna be a lot thinner and a lot flimsier and a lot more prone to damage and wearing out. And number three is kind of self-explanatory and probably why you're already watching this video. It comes in at a really good price point and you're getting an Osprey backpack. And you're not getting some off name, off brand you've never really heard of off of um, you know, a website model. You're getting something that has a, a lineage of Osprey of making really well-built, um, reliable packs. And you're going to pay between $150 and $165 on average, um, depending on if you go with men's and women's and what color combination you go with. So again, I'll have those links for you to Amazon as well as backcountry.com below if you are interested in this pack for either men or women. So you can, can kind of see what's going on and what uh, availability there is. But I mean, that's a great price point for the size of 65 liters, the the um, ergonomics and the design of the suspension system, as well as the quality of materials that they went with. So what's that one thing that may deter you from picking up the Rook 65 and the Rook series in general? And it's basically the layout. You can tell that they kind of left off certain uh, aspects that a lot of other backpacks, even around this price point, offer, um, probably to try to push you to a more expensive backpack. The one that's most noticeable for me is the entire back panel here is basically dead wasted space. Most backpacks would offer you a big mesh stuff pocket or some sort of other organizational piece there. Um, they throw in a couple daisy chain loops along the side, but that's kind of dead space that they could have easily given you some more storage, some more organization that you just decided not to do. But other than that, um, they do have good layout for your water bladder and the top load pocket with a little keeper and some little uh, attachments that you could do a solar panel or shock cord on the top, uh, as well as access through for the water bottles on the sides, uh, as well as a lot of other small features that really do help it to get a lot done for you. But that is a, a place of contention for me personally, because I do use that pocket a lot. It's great to like throw a wet jacket or something, let it air dry, things like that, that this just doesn't have. Um, so it's not a deal breaker, but it is something to be aware of. Uh, but overall, guys, this is an amazing introductory pack. Uh, it's great how Osprey has given us all of these features, um, the durability, and it's coming in easily under $200. Um, it gives you a lot of bang for your buck when you're starting out in backpacking or you just got to you know save every penny. And so I hope that this video has been fun, entertaining, giving you the data and the info uh, that you need so that you can make a wise choice the next time you are looking at a backpack and trying to determine where you should spend your hard-earned money. And that's what I always try to do in these videos. We throw up videos every single week here, so I do invite you to subscribe, check out the other video popping up. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. And we'll see you out there.